Hello everyone, I've been away for a bit. I've just come back from uh, England and Amsterdam. How's Mark? I've got a new game out. It's called Matterfall. Check it out, peeps. That's me, Avalon Darrow, at your service. I love them, you love them, everyone loves Housemark. They're gods when it comes to couch co-op games and twin stick shooters. But this one's a little bit different, uh, it's actually a side scroller. But it's got a lot of alienation in it and a lot of people will, will say that that's a really good thing and it is a really good thing. But it's not multiplayer, it's not couch co-op, it's very much single player experience. Multiplier up. Multiplier lost. Multiplier lost. It has that house mark, hallmark, mentalness as you can see here, and it still obeys the twin stick. One stick is left and right, the other one is aim, you're going a bit like Contra, but the R1 button is actually jump, and the L1 button is to do your sort of slide that you'll know from the alienation games, as I mentioned before, and you're immune during this slide. Multiplier There's also up. a hyperdrive as well that allows you that sort of section, a bit like Resogun, where you can just go mental and kill everything, but it takes some getting used to. You have a tractor beam that allows you to pull platforms in that you can land on, and th this is a bit strange because because you'll be going to, for a lot of buttons at once and realize that you need to actually activate the platform before you can land on it. It's a bit it's a bit weird, but I, I like it. it. It's got a very addictive play style, as with all Housemark stuff. Um, it, it, it's got some really innovative enemies. It's got some great level design. It's got some awesome retro music, and it's got some, some really cool sort of graphics going on. I get a real Shadowfall vibe with this game. I think I've got that right. That was an Xbox 360 game that was from the Unreal team. Do you remember they did this pretty cool side-scrolling, sort of almost Metroid-esque, sort of current-gen or last-gen shooter, and it very much reminds me of that. But it's got this really cool injection of housemark mechanics, which will be, you know, some great weapons. You'd have a, a L2 or R2 button, I can't remember, for your grenade launcher. And also there's like this augmentation screen that's on the menus, which I think means that you can add and slot in Zero different G. augments to, you know, adjust your play style to what suits you, etc. There's also some anti-gravity stuff in here as well, which is pretty awesome. I haven't played as much of this game as I'd like. I got it, I downloaded it before I went away and got a big chunk of it done just now. But what, I, what I'm seeing, I'm liking. I'm annoyed that it's not um, couch co-op, and but I, I, you know, we had uh, Ex Machima, and now we've got this, so it, it, it's not a huge loss. The two games perfectly complement each other because one, of course, is a is a very multiplayer focused uh, sort of downward asymmetric shooter, and this is a really intelligent side scrolling game. So I recommend it. It's not extortionate, and how smart are amazing so jump on board have a look you've got online leaderboards you've got all that cool stuff that normally comes with it so i'll see you down there